Hey guys, it's your girl Sweetie D. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about uh, my six week, I mean six month um, update on my breast reduction. Uh, I want to say hey to all my new subscribers and what's up to my old subscribers. Uh, please hit like and like and share the video. So, um. If you saw my first video in right after, I think it was in June. So, May 30th, I had a breast reduction. I was a size um, 48G. And I went down to a size 44D. So, well, one of them was a C at first <laughs> so um i had my breast reduction done and i really didn't have any problems um uh oh sorry y'all i really didn't have any um issues like when i came home i was fine i was feeling good and then i went for my um first appointment and he checked me and he took those things off of my nipples because I had nipple graft. And my nipples was completely flat. Completely flat. Like. So he said they would come out, you know, and it take about six months before they fully come out. And if I didn't like, if they didn't raise to the point where I wanted them, he would give me some injections of Botox to make them stick out. Because my nipples used to be big and my areola was very large, probably about like this. So he made them normal size. But what happened was I had this big lump on the side and I kept saying, what is this lump? And I had my daughter feel it. So then we went back to the doctor. He um, said it was a seroma, sonoma. And he took a syringe and he filled up five, them syringes was about this big about that fat he filled up five of them full of fluid so i think because i had a lot of issues with the drain on this side and i don't i don't think it drained too good on that side so um that happened then i went back in like two weeks and he had to do it again then i went back and he had to do it again it kept filling up with fluid i don't know why my thing keep cutting off I was looking at them and they didn't look the same size to me. This one was smaller. Well, I knew this one was smaller from the beginning. But then this one nipple was like up and this one was down. And then where he took the fat out the back, he made it look weird. I was just not satisfied. So what happened was I started um, exercising. And then my stomach started going down. So when my stomach started going down, they started looking more like I wanted them to look. They were, you know, they were small, but they were looking good. Like I wanted them to look. Like now, they look like I wanted them to look. But I still, um, he said he had to cut half of my nipple off um, to make it adhere. Because it was about like this big, maybe. But now, this one is absolutely perfect. This breast right here is absolutely perfect. And the nipple is working. Every time I get in the water, boop. If I'm working out, boop. If uh, it's being touched, boop. It's like, and it's almost as size as it used to be. So if I got injections, it would only be a little in this one. But this one, when they come up, it look like a whip. Like when you scratch yourself and you get a whip. That's how it only come up that much. I'll be like, okay, what's wrong with this one? But it still come up, but it's only a little bit. So, I don't know if I'm going to show y'all what they look like. So, you can see, this is what they look like. Can you see that? Everybody need to stand up. <laughs> So they some D's. 
Yo, I got stuff all over my shirt. I need to do this video on something else. I'm going to show y'all later. Because my shirt got stuff all on it. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, so. I mean. I'm going to another plastic surgeon. Because it's some stuff that I was not satisfied with. The fact that he didn't remove fat on my side. So. You can't really see the side of my breast. It looked like it's melted in with the back. You need to do some liposuction on the side. So I have an appointment on December 12th or 13th, I think, to go to this other plastic surgeon. And I'm going to just have him fix what I think needs to be fixed. Um, but other than that, I've been doing good. I mean, I feel 100% better not carrying all that weight around. They removed 10 pounds of breast tissue. And um, I'm happy with that because I can work out better. Um, I can run. I can jump. I can trot up the stairs. <laughs> it's just a lot of pros, you know. Even though I had that stuff I didn't like. It's still, you know, a lot of good stuff that came behind it. So, yeah. But, you know, the stuff I'm not satisfied with, I'm going to go and have fixed. And, but other than that, if you're thinking about doing it, ugh, if your breast was big as mine, honey. Honey. Honey, I feel like a whole new person. For real. So. Um, I'm going to insert some pictures at the end of this video. And... So you can see how much better I look, they look, and everything looks. So um, thank you for watching. And yeah, that was my six-month update on my breast reduction. And hit like and subscribe and share the video. And see you next time. <laughs> I love doing that. Okay, guys, I have my readers on. So, um, I don't know why I always do that when I be talking. I always be touching my hair. Don't know why, but I do. So, this shirt is better. You can see better. Um, if I stand up. Ooh, my knees. You can see better. Um, so, they do sit up. I don't have on a bra right now. They kind of perky for me to be 54. They are perky. Very perky. And like I said, this one. This one is perfect. See that? That's about the size of it. This one. A little bit smaller. But it's set up too. I can go outside without a bra. That's something I've never been able to do. Even as a child. But now I can. So, if you think about having breast uh, reduction surgery, I think it is a good thing to do if you had a right doctor. Do your research on your doctors. And you know that doctor, I went to him because he did my um, surgery. I had skin removed from my stomach because I had lost over 100 pounds. And um, I really wasn't 100% satisfied with the way that surgery turned out. But I gave him the benefit of the doubt and went back to him again, which I shouldn't have did. I should have followed my first mind and just went to somebody else. Like one of my doctors had advised me to do. Um, but you live and you learn. So I'm going to the other plastic surgeon. And, you know, it's not a lot he has to fix. Just my nipples. And if he can align align them, my areolas. Because they one up here. Like this one up here and this one down here. This one perfect. Perfect. When I tell you... This breast right here, that one, 
This one. Right there. That one. It's perfect. I mean perfect. But, you know. I know it's always one bigger than the other one, but it's just the nipples, man. And, oh, the skin um, is still a little pink in the middle. But they say that heal up and turn brown. So And it has been turning brown because it was pinker than that. So it's, it's a slow process. But, you know, I still have the itching. It's ridiculous. And I think that's because I have keloid skin. Because I do have a couple keloids like this under this breast. That scar keloid. And at the top of this nipple. And it's so itchy. I'm going to the dermatologist for that too. So they could shoot it with some of that stuff that make it stop itching. That make the keloid stop growing. So yeah, that is my six month um, update on my breast reduction. And maybe I'll come back in a year. And let you see, once I lose all the weight that I'm going to lose, I, I want to lose about 50 more pounds and I'll be all the way done. So, yeah, um, that's it, guys. Thank you for um, listening. And I'm going to put some pictures on the end. I might put some pictures of before, before, and now. All right. Peace out. Have a good one.